and now we stand with Mindy and Andrew on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and our prayers as they are brothers and sisters. This wedding is one of those increasingly rare occasions where husband and wife have learned from their own families and from the witness of their parents what marriage is truly meant to be. From this day forward, you have one another. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community gathered here, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Since it is your intention to enter into holy matrimony, join your right hands together and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Andrew, take you, Mindy. I, Andrew, take you, Mindy. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health in sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Mindy. I, Mindy. Take you, Andrew. Take you, Andrew. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Mindy, receive this ring. Mindy, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Andrew, receive this ring. Andrew, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
My brothers and sisters, it is my great honor, indeed my privilege, to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Wilkins. Mindy, you know, you may be my younger sister, but I have always looked up to you and wanted to be more like you. You're the best friend I've ever had. And I'll never forget the day you called to tell me about Andrew because there was an excitement in your voice that I hadn't heard in a long time. And then we met Andrew, and it was apparent to myself, my brother, Marla, mom and dad, and my husband, Wyatt, this is the one. She's going to marry this one if he'll have her. Rampage and all. <laughs> the lunch I joke. But, Andrew, I'm so thrilled to have met you and more, more than anything to welcome you into our family. And I want to thank you for coming into her life and treating her better than she's ever been treated. You're a blessing to us. We can't thank you enough. You know, Andrew, I've heard you say this before, but I thought it was a good time to just remind you how uh, true it is. Mindy is way out of your league. So, uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, Mindy, thank you for making this sacrifice. Pretty early on when my family met Mindy and when I met Mindy, we knew like right away that this was the girl that Andrew needed to marry. Like, I, I think my mom was always telling him, you know, Andrew, you cannot let Mindy get away from you. Like, you have to marry this girl. You are not going to find another girl as cool as she is. We're all just relieved that this day is finally here. <laughs> Congratulations to the two of you, and uh, cheers.